Hello everyone and welcome to another video. It's Francesco here and what we're going to be doing in this video specifically is running over the premium features or pro features of Remember the Milk. Now as you guys know I reviewed Remember the Milk a few months ago, uh, maybe in February of 2016. I did a full review of the actual functionality of the service and that was on the basic account and um, what I wanted to do is I'll include that in the link in the description and obviously allow you to go and view that if you're looking for a more general one but this one is really going to sort of go over some of the features inside of Pro. The great thing that happened this week was um, the team let me access to the Remember the Milk Pro account um, so I'm now able to actually uh, give it a try and show you some of the, the core features in Premium. So let's get started. Now, one thing you can do in Remember the Milk Premium or Pro um, is create and break down all of your tasks into subtasks. So for example, uh, the classic feed the cat task. Uh, what I could do here is, uh, you know, once I'm doing this and I've, I've clicked into it, once it's a proper task, I can then create uh, subtasks. So, you know, uh, buy some feed. And all of the subtasks actually still have um, some information around it. So for example, as you type that, so test, you can add all of the information relevant. So things like start date, urgency, uh, tags, you know, syncing and uh, repeating, location, timings and estimates and people to give it to. So it does still have all of the context that you need. It also gives a figure here, uh, making it sort of manageable to see how many mini tasks you need to complete, subtasks you need to complete in there. Obviously, this is all working on the iOS and Android versions, but what I wanted to do today is show you what it looks like on web so that you can go from there. So the next thing is obviously once you're inside of um, yeah, the pro account, you can actually start sharing and giving new content. In the free account, you only uh, access, give access to two or three people, I believe it is, um, but in the pro account, you actually have unlimited sharing, so you can actually um, adopt and assign tasks to other people, which is pretty cool. So one thing you can do inside of Premium 2 is, uh, I'm just gonna quit, add that as a subtask again, as you can see, it does pop up here, um, is once you've chosen an item, what you can do is actually uh, give a tag to it. So for example, this is a test tag, but the one thing you can do is once you've got tags up, you can actually color them, uh, which is quite cool. So you can actually uh, coordinate the color system. Uh, so if you wanna see that at a glance, that's a good opportunity. So the Pro account does have the ability to sort of coordinate uh, your sorting style. So you can actually sort it based on all of the information um, that you want to uh, select. So for example, if you want to see all your uh, certain pri priorities and you can see that at a glance, which is pretty good. Um, it does give a bit more context. I'm just trying to find a good example of the sorting functionality. You can add more criteria um, there we go. Uh, so as you can see, advanced sorting, you can actually search in real detail of how um, coordinate, like all of these assets that are, that are put towards a task like notes or, or it being repeated, you can actually go really deep in your search when trying to find stuff. Imagine you've got a full inbox or imagine you've got tons of tasks, then that's the important thing, being able to sort and find things very fast. So the one thing that you can have on your mobile devices is the ability to get reminded. Um, you can't actually uh, do that in the freemium account. The get reminder feature does obviously help. Um, you know, you can set reminders, you know, feed the cat tonight and it will appear. Uh, you can be very specific about your timings too, which is quite cool. So, um, sorry, I keep right clicking thinking it's a Mac app. Um, but all you have to do is once you've selected that and you've chosen, um, for example, today at 3 p.m., and you've associated to that time. If you're on the iOS version, what that will do is it will notify you specifically at that time, which is quite cool. Um, so that's a really good way to sort of uh, you know, give you a bit of a reminder. You can actually, oh, there we go, sorry, um, that's my fault. Um, once you've done that, uh, obviously that task will appear, but you can actually uh, remind everywhere at a due time. So that will come through. You can also set up a email address that it goes to too. Uh, which is pretty cool and obviously it'll go all over to your devices so you can actually set a due time um, or 10 minutes before the due time so for example if this was a three o'clock thing but you need half an hour to get ready then you can you can prepare it quite easily there 
So the one thing else you've got is badges and widgets inside of the Pro account. So once you're on your iOS and Android devices, you can essentially um, have badge setups, uh, which allows you to see how many tasks you have got and how many tasks you have at a glance. The widgets work well on Android, um, so you've got a bit of function there, which is pretty good. The next thing is Microsoft Outlook. The one thing I haven't done is set up my tasks with Microsoft Outlook. I'm not using this as a daily task monitor, but what I am doing, but what I am doing is trying to understand obviously the functions of it. Um, and I'm going to try and hook it up to the tasks um, so you can actually sync all of your tasks directly with Microsoft Outlook. Um, I've heard this integration is good, um, so that's really positive. And, and a lot of people have messaged me saying, that integration works really well and they're really impressed by that, which is a good thing. The one thing that I was very impressed with was the offline functionality. So on the web app, which is quite surprising, very similar to Todoist um, and Wunderlist as well. Uh, remember the Milk has an offline version. So if you enable the offline version, um, you can have that ready. So once you switch to it, all it does is it still retains all the information uh, in the browser as a cache. But as soon as you upload to the internet, uh, which is perfect, then it all goes to there, which is one of the golden features, is literally one of the, my favorite features about uh, Todoist. So obviously that's really impressive. So um, obviously within um, a lot of these sort of Evernote and things like that, even when you pay premium, you get a sort of cap off. There is no storage cap off for Remember the Milk. I can't imagine you be storing a hideous amount of documents inside of stuff. So the one thing you can do is you can actually add notes um, and information, but uh, and you can obviously add information to each of, of the stuff. But I really don't think that you would be using that much um, sort of files and information. But you know, potentially with the Microsoft Outlook, if you're sort of you know att attaching sort of documents or links to your work, that might bring the amount up. So that's good. Unlimited storage. The VIP, uh, obviously you got VIP treatment, um, you know, you get double votes whenever you're voting for a new product update. In the forums, you've got early access as well to new features via the testing program and obviously priority support. Just to go over a few of the um, sort of basic to pro features. So on basic, you do get web, desktop and mobile apps, same as a pro. Um, you get seamless sync between both of these, integration into Gmail, Google Docs, uh, sorry, Google Calendar and Evernote, they're both on basic and premium. Uh, ask, add a task via email, Alexa, Siri, and Twitter, and give tasks to others are all inside of basic and pro. You can also remind via email uh, and text and I am and Twitter as well. The things that you, you know, the things that you don't get, uh, the things that you bonus is reminders via mobile apps. So you've got reminders there, which are a big thing, big thing if you're looking to get reminded. Um, share so as I said with the basic you only get two people with the pro you get unlimited uh, advanced sharing permissions subtasks updated sorting and grouping customized tag colors offline web which is huge badges and widgets sync to outlook and obviously all of the support team stuff the other thing that they don't mention really and I think they should in their page is you know when you're when you're using the basic one of the key features is going back and seeing sometimes what tasks you did or you know going back after seven days and being you know aware of something that you've done or actually just bringing it back up well on the basic account you only get the last seven days archived of completed tasks with your pro account unlimited which is really really impressive now you're probably wondering, you know, what are the pricings for this? So it's a clear $40 per year. Um, that's a little bit higher than some of the other competitors. Things like Todoist is $30. Wunderlist, I think, is about $30 too. Um, this packs, you know, a bit more of a, a, a different package, sort of a different experience, I'd say. Um, for one, I really like the Remember the Milk setup. It reminds me of a bit of Basecamp mixed with Asana. Um, I think it's decent. Uh, I'm not sure whether they should be charging $40 per year, but I think that, you know, th with this stuff, you sort of pay for quality and you can see with the service here that the quality is strong, the brand is strong as well, and there's a real depth of task analysis as well in the search task. And as you can imagine, there is some really good settings as well. So the functionality 
um, the syncing, the you know emailing tasks, the sort of making sure that you're connected through other third-party apps um, is good. I think it's very strong. Uh, you know, as remember, the milk grows as well. The good thing is with its premium, they have the ability to fund and grow that out. But anyway, guys, that is just my thoughts on the pro account and some of the features that you guys can go away and have a look at. Now, if you have any comments, please do drop me an email on C-E-S-I-D-A-L-S-A-L-E-S-S-I-O -S -S at gmail.com. It's, it's in the description. And if you want to drop me a tweet about any of your thoughts on Remember the Milk, just let me know and uh, I'll tweet back. Anyway, guys, thank you very much. Make sure to subscribe before you exit uh, this video. And uh, thank you very much. Uh, and I'll see you guys very soon. Cheers.